I'm going to try and explain a fart lick session in the most easiest way possible. Fart licks are a brilliant source of training to get you fit really, really quick. And these are like the turnabouts that I used to do where um, if I had been out of training for a while, I'd been injured, I was getting back into running, they were a brilliant way of just getting my fitness levels up really, really high. The best thing about fart licks is they're not structured. Uh, you don't have to have them like an interval session where you're saying, for example, three 1000s with two minutes recovery or 10 300s with one minute recovery. These are just random pieces of running with different lengths and different recoveries. For example, you can see a tree line or lamp posts and you go, I'm going to run hard for three lamp posts and then I'm going to jog for one or I'm going to run hard for two and jog for two or one and one whatever you want to do and uh, you can pick a point you can decide on seconds and I think so that it's not interval training set distances set time so you can just go like I'm going to do uh, a one minute a 45 seconds a 30 seconds a 15 seconds rep with the same amount of recovery that's quite structured uh, and that's doable because you'll go different distances because you're doing it by time uh, or you can just go oh, I'm just going to run from A to B as hard as possible and you make it up as you go and you can say actually I'm going to be doing 20 minutes of fart lick and within that 20 minutes I want 10 minutes to be hard so equal recovery and equal hard but it's um, a really good source and I'm going to do it today going to work hard I just want a quick session 20 minutes get the heart rate up get striding a bit more I'm going to do it on grass uh, so it saves my legs and let's see how it goes going to start jogging I'm going to pick up little points I might actually use the little tree line that's down beside me just to get my legs moving just little strides and then I'll pick different points run jog I'll put my watch on um, just so I've got an idea of how long I'm going and then as I go along, I'll probably just make it up, to be honest. It's the best thing about Fartlix. So that was literally random. I think one was about 20 seconds, one was about 15. And uh, we're gonna recover down to the end. And then, again, as I'm making it up, I'm gonna do two longer runs. We're gonna lift and recover in between. So the recovery's always jogging. No walking on the park lick. Good aerobic training. Woo, let's go. I don't want to go around in circles, so I'm going to make another loop. That was two long ropes. I have no idea how long they were. I got to about 5.40 pace, so about my pace, which is a good way, again, of getting that training benefit. Now I'm going to go off and I'm going to do some little short, short one. Short, short recovery, short, short recovery. Let's go. Maybe I could keep that up for a mile. Do 
another 10. That's totally got my heart rate up. Woo! We're on there. Oh, I'm on recovery now. So I think it went up to about 160. Um, my average pace is 719 and considering I'm jogging in between, shows you if you keep your pace up, you go far beyond your normal running pace, which is so going to help you start up a race, erratic racing, people getting in your way, being start and stop, and also just your body to get you used to the fact that you can run faster. Okay, so I'm going to use this tree line now, and I'm going to do some different routes between the, the tree line, just so you can have a look at what I do. for a long time uh, so heart rate's up complete variable speeds and distances and obviously time heart rate really high I run how I feel but then when I'm feeling tired I go harder it's the only way to make a massive massive cardiovascular difference a little bit anaerobic, some people will go in, depending if they're getting longer rest, but basically really, really, really improving your speed endurance. And I think everyone should have that as a basis to their training. <laughs>